All right, y'all, I am back and I just want to talk a little bit now after doing the summary on the Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade case. I am now going to talk a little bit about who the players are just to give you some additional information to connect to my summary. So if you've already watched the summary and now you're like, OK, who are these people? Um, I'm getting ready to go through it now. If you didn't get a chance to look at the summary, go back and look at the summary just so you can have an idea or a point of reference or a foundation for what we're going to talk about now. So one of the things that I think is interesting in uh, this process is that these are normal, everyday people. These are people who get up and put their pants on one leg at a time, just like the rest of us. And so just such an interesting dynamic um, between how people deal with each other. But here we go. The key players in disqualify the disqualification hearing for Fulton District Attorney, special prosecutor in Georgia Trump case. Here are all the people. So as you can see right there on the screen, Fanny or Fanny is definitely spelled uh, Fanny, but it's pronounced Fanny, Fanny like F-A-W-N-Y, Fawny, or F-A-W-N-I-E, Fawny, however. Okay, so <laughs> either way, um, as you can see, there's uh, Fawny Willis, the Fulton County District Attorney. She heads up the RICO indictments for former President Donald Trump and 18 of his GOP allies for alleged interference in Georgia's 2020 election. Right next to her is her lover, boyfriend, but boyfriend no more, Nathan Wade, who's the special prosecutor hired by Willis for the Trump case. And at the heart of this particular hearing is the relationship between Willis and Wade. And then of course you see the judge there, um, Scott McAfee, the judge presiding over the Fulton County RICO case involving Trump and his allies. And he is also presiding over this particular hearing about this relationship between Fani and Nathan. And then right next to the judge is Ashley Merchant, who I've kind of come to like Ashley a little bit. Um, when I first saw her, I was like, whoa, she's struggling a little bit. Um, I was kind of rooting for her. And then I was like, whoa, she's stumbling and struggling. But again, she is the attorney for Michael Roman, one of Trump's co-defendants. And she and Roman filed the explosive court filing that accused Willis and Wade of having a romantic relationship. So that's kind of where it all got started. And so those are uh, four of the key players. And now I'm gonna share with you some of the other ones, which again, to me, this is where the juicy stuff <laughs> comes in uh, because again, these are everyday people who got caught up in this situation. And so Terrence Bradley is one of Nathan Wade's former law partners. So my understanding is that there were three partners in this uh, law practice and Terrence Bradley is one of them. And he just happens to be the prosecutor's top witness in the hearing. Why? Because Ashley Merchant and Terrence Bradley were quote unquote friends and they were texting. And we're going to go through some of these text messages at some point. But Ashley Merchant and Terrence, Terrence Bradley communicated significantly in this process. And now he's on the stand and Ashley Merchant is um, really, really going in on him, attempting to get him to be honest about the information that he knows pertaining to the Wade and Willis relationship and when it started and all the juicy details. 
And then we have um, Robin Bryant Yurti. Um, I just felt like Miss Yurti was like, I just don't want to be here. How did I get involved in this mess? Why am I sitting here having to talk about this? She was not happy to be there. She did not want to, I could tell, didn't want to testify, but I believed everything that she said. And it sounded like she was like, if you need me to tell you, I'll tell you, I don't really want to, but I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie under oath. I'm not going to do some, some other people may do it, but that's not going to be me. I'm not going to lie under oath. So she's a former friend of Fonnie Willis, who said the relationship between Fonnie and Nathan started in 2019, 2019 and not in 2022, as Willis and Wade said. So again, interesting discrepancy there. Now, um, Stephen Sadow is Trump's Georgia attorney in the um, election interference case. And Roy Barnes is a former governor of Georgia. And Willis uh, previously before, I don't actually, I don't know. I don't know if it was before or after um, bringing Willa, uh, bringing Wade on as the special prosecutor, but Roy Barnes was asked by Willis uh, to be the special prosecutor in the Trump investigation, and Roy was like, no, thank you. We'll not be doing it. So, okay, those are all of the uh, key players in this particular case. And the next video is just kind of going to dive into some of the issues so we can just get quickly into the psychology behind betrayal, the psychology behind betrayal. Again, I'm Dr. Jada Jackson, licensed mental health counselor. And again, if you will, I would love that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please hit the like button. I'd so much appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.